Good morning, everyone. Just want to do a quick recap for uh, cycle two, week two, uh, in our community from this past uh, week. Uh, overall, I think we had we had a great time of, of learning and just enjoying um, a day of community together. Uh, just a quick recap. Uh, the one thing I'll point out with new grammar uh, for science, uh, we had the uh, land biomes. So we did do hand motions. I gave them hand motions for for each to kind of help them remember. So grassland, we think of grass growing. And then desert, we think of the desert being hot, so wiping your brow. Scrubland, so scrubbing your, your arm. Tundra, we think of a tundra as being a place where it's very cold, so shivering like this. Deciduous force, we think of big leaves, so thinking of fall, big leaves falling. Uh, coniferous force, we think of cones like pine cones, so kind of making your hand in a shape like this, like of a pine cone. And then uh, tropical rainforest, just raining like so. So we did add the hand motions to kind of help them uh, with recalling uh, those terms. Uh, Latin, we had, it was the same, first conjugation, endings, present tense, uh, same ones from week one. Um, of course, we had the time on hand motions. Um, geography is a little easier this week with only uh, five locations to, to recall for show me, tell me. So, new grammar uh, went well. Um, for science, we had two experiments, uh, mirage and distortion. And some of the key terms that uh, we were trying to, to have the students remember, uh, refraction, what it, what it means for uh, light to actually bend, um, and how our brains actually anticipate when we see light, we anticipate light to, to travel in a straight path. Uh, and because our brain kind of tells us that, or helps us anticipate that, uh, it actually kind of tricks us. So we looked at some experiments where um, you know, things, a mirage, you know, we talked about the definition of what a mirage is, where something appears, uh, but it's not actually the reality of what it is. So we looked at the coin in the glass that was in, in clay, and when you move away from the glass, uh, our view of that becomes distorted because it looks like it's actually kind of closer to the edge of the glass and becomes larger in size. Uh, and that's actually, you know, the same thing can happen with the sun. And also distortion, uh, another type of experiment, just using a magnifying glass, looking at uh, an orange circle, and you know when we moved it around, left and right, up and down, it distorted our view of the circle. And in the same way, you know the sun may be um, when we look at a sunrise or a sunset, uh, we are actually seeing the light from the sun after it has either gone below or above the horizon. But again, our brain you know, is anticipating seeing light travel in a straight line, but we're actually seeing refracted light. So those are just some of the things we, we uh, covered in science. In fine arts, uh, we went with mirror images. We reviewed the five elements of shape, and uh, then we went on to mirror images using our booklet, just kind of doing some basic shapes. Um, after drawing lines of symmetry, so some shapes have maybe just one line of symmetry, where some may have uh, eight, ten, or so. So those are the things we did during fine arts. And we finished, uh, before that we had grammar review, where we uh, had a little team game of a drawing activity, and also did some uh, flashcards for math. I like to drill. Math. The kids like to drill with math too, and I think it's a, just a good exercise, um, just to kind of help us to to recall quickly our times tables. So we did some of that as well. But overall, it was a, a great week too, and look forward to seeing everyone next week. Thanks.